Okay, since we don't have a time zero, this is a little awkward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that time 20, when the person first goes in, is our time zero. So 0, 0, 0,000372. And then we're going to have this one, 28, be 8, 8, comma, 0, 0.00219, okay? Now, how does that really help me out? Well, this right here, this guy is my Y sub 0 right here. This is my Y sub 0. Yeah. Okay, Y sub 0 equals 0 0.00372. So I'm going to come right down here and put that in. So 0 0.00372. All right, and then on the other side, I still have a Y there, and then I've got E to the KX. So I've got to find my K still. So what I'm going to do to find the K value is I'm going to take these, this stuff, this information right here, and I'm going to stick 8 in for X, okay? So 8 is going in right there, and 0 0.00219 is going in for my y value. So 0 0.00219 equals 0 0.00372 e to the 8k. And we're going to solve this. So we're going to divide by 0 0.00372. Let me get a Desmos open. Okay, so going over to Desmos. Uh, let's just start a new one. And we had for our numbers, let's pull that off to the side, and then we'll we'll get Desmos over here, and we're going to go uh, 0 0.00219. 0.00219 divided by 0 0.00372. And so that gives us 0.5887 something. So I have to have something to write down on my paper, but I'm going to use as accurate as I can number there. So 0.588. So 0.588 after I've divided this guy into that guy over there, right? Divide. And that's e to the 8k. Now I'm going to convert this to log form. So I go natural log. So this converts to natural log of 0.588 is equal to 8k. Okay, so let's jump back over here. And I've got my 0.588 number right there. So I could just take the natural log of it, natural log of that stuff right there. Okay, so, so there is my answer to that guy, negative 0.529. Now I'm going to divide it by 8. So I just hit divide by 8 on the screen, and I get k equal to negative 0 0.066. 0 0.066, I think, right? Yeah. And so now I've got my equation, y equals 0 0.00372 e to the negative 0 0.066x. Now, again, I would like to use as accurate as possible on Desmos. So I could call this thing right here, I could call it k, k equals, and now that'll allow me to come up with an equation uh, like, like f of x equals 0 0.00, what was it again, 372, 372, e, to the kx and now it's taking the k value and it's putting it right down here so right down here where it says you know uh you could have suffered serious damage um if the concentration level was 0 0.015 based on the mathematical model of part a was the concentration ever that high we could graph it now and we could graph 0 0.015 and we could see so here we are on our graph i probably need to zoom in on my my axis a little bit here, okay? And we could type in 0 0.015 for a horizontal line, y equals, y equals, and we could see, oh, the concentration level, wait, 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 if I go back over here, was it ever that high? Well, 21 hours before it was that high. So were we ever 21 hours before well, let's look back at what we said here. No. So this was our time zero. We were at 0 0.00372. So 20 hours before, right? So we went like, we counted that as time zero. So really like negative 20 
in real life would have been 0. 0.0037. Or, uh, let me think about that for a second. Negative 21 was before our, you know, 20 hours. So no, I would say it didn't reach 0. 0.015. Okay. Um, we're trying to use the equation, you know, to answer some more questions down here. See what you can figure out with these questions. Hey, good luck.